A good man is a very, very dangerous man who has that under voluntary control. In today's world, the name Peter Thiel looms large. His influence stretches across business, technology, and politics, wielding his immense wealth to mold society and exert control over our lives. But his hunger for power knows no bounds, he yearns for even greater influence. In the year 2022, Till's strategic investments in carefully selected far-right candidates, some of whom he meticulously groomed over the years, played a pivotal role in shaping the entire political landscape of the election. J.D. Vance emerges victorious as the next Republican senator, a triumph orchestrated by Peter Thiel, who poured millions into supporting Vance's campaign. Yet, Till's ascent to dominance was not always assured. Cast your mind back to 1996, and you'd find Peter Thiel adrift in uncertainty, armed with a law degree and a lackluster book warning against the perceived dangers of diversity. However, amidst the sea of uncertainty, Thiel discovered his calling, venture capital. In a matter of mere years, he transformed a modest million-dollar investment from friends and family into an astronomical fortune, laying the cornerstone of his empire. Many tech innovators boast about their intent to change the world, a familiar refrain in the venture capital sphere. But Thiel transcends the ordinary. His ambition knows no bounds, his objective, nothing short of replacing the US dollar with a new digital currency. It's not merely about pitching to investors, it's about reshaping the world in his image, leveraging the principles of venture capital to impose his will. The world that Peter Thiel envisions is a chilling one, rooted in the tenets of venture capital philosophy, monopolization, anti-democratic ideology, and unbridled corporate power over the American workforce. Welcome to the classroom of More Perfect Union, where today, we delve into the story of how Peter Thiel amassed his wealth and what it signifies for the rest of us. Peter Thiel's formative years paint a picture of a quintessential nerd, immersed in dungeons and dragons and sci-fi lore. Yet, beneath the veneer of geekery lay a mind primed for success. Armed with stellar grades and familial affluence, Thiel embarked on his journey at Stanford University, where he founded the Stanford Review, an alternative student newspaper catering to conservative ideals. The Stanford Review served as the genesis of Till's future network, with many of its contributors later becoming his business associates. It was during his time at Stanford that Thiel encountered philosopher René Girard, whose ideas profoundly influenced his worldview. Girard's theory of mimetic desire resonated with Thiel, fueling his conviction that monopolies were not only acceptable but desirable. Till's foray into the business world saw him coalesce with a cadre of young engineers, birthing CON Affinity, a precursor to what would eventually become PayPal. The ethos of the Stanford Review permeated PayPal's early days, with anarcho-capitalist ideology shaping its trajectory. Till's vision transcended mere commerce, it aimed to upheave the global monetary system. While PayPal may now be synonymous with online transactions, its true ambition lay in challenging the established order of currency. Till's rhetoric, echoed in a PayPal all-hands meeting, underscored his belief that the fluid movement of money was inexorably linked to the erosion of nation-states, aligning with his broader agenda of reshaping the world. However, Till's aspirations extended beyond commerce, they encompassed politics and governance. Palantir, his next venture, delved into the realms of surveillance and data technology, Receiving seed funding from InQtel, a venture capital firm with ties to the CIA, Till's involvement with Palantir underscored his willingness to leverage his wealth for political ends. One of Till's most audacious moves involved litigation financing, a legal gambit that allowed him to stifle dissent and silence voices that opposed him. His funding of Hulk Hogan's lawsuit against Gawker exemplified this strategy, resulting in Gawker's demise and Till's profit. Till's actions epitomized his modus operandi, leveraging wealth to assert control and further his agenda. Till's investments extend beyond business ventures, they encompass ideologies. His support for the Dark Enlightenment movement, characterized by its neo-fascist leanings and reverence for corporate power, mirrors his own beliefs. Till's patronage of Curtis Yarvin's startups underscores his commitment to funding projects aligned with his worldview. In the realm of politics, Till's investments are strategic and far-reaching. Candidates like J.D. Vance and Blake Masters, nurtured by Till over the years, serve as conduits for his agenda. 
Through financial backing and support, Thiel seeks to shape the political landscape in pursuit of his vision, a corporate-ruled utopia for billionaires. Till's investment strategies offer a glimpse into the future, where monopolies reign supreme and democracy is but a distant memory. His unabashed pursuit of power and influence underscores the perils of unchecked wealth and the erosion of democratic principles. As we navigate the landscape shaped by Peter Thiel, it's imperative to remain vigilant and discerning. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Peter Thiel's world. Be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights into the policies and practices that shape our society. Together, we'll uncover the stories of billionaires and multimillionaires, dissecting the forces that drive their wealth and influence.